I don't know if anything gives more beach house vibes than waking up and seeing the waves each morning. The bed is lofted and it overlooks the main room. And this entire Airbnb just feels like it's built to lead you to the ocean. You can see the sand and water from every room. I always roll out of bed, take a few steps downstairs, and open up the doors. The balcony overlooks one of the nicest beaches in Cape Town, and you just end up feeling like you own the place. This apartment has some insane access to the beach, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. See, the loft is the best place to sleep, so we've actually been using the real bedroom as a giant closet, but there's plenty of room for two or three people here. So after grabbing some clothes, we do Sarah's favorite part of the morning, which is walking through what she likes to call the green section. It's all part of the condo complex, and when you leave the complex, it leads you onto one of the most beautiful roads in all of Cape Town. It's just a short 20 minute walk to the heart of Sea Point, which is the area of town that we always like to go for breakfast. And after eating breakfast, we head back to the apartment and somehow the walk back is even more scenic. You'll know you're home when you see the eatery. It's the only restaurant in this area, but it's literally right across the street from the apartment and it's a great spot to grab small bites and coffees. At this point, we always like to grab our swimsuits from home and take our coffees down to the beach. And it's easy to get to the beach because the front door provides direct access to a staircase that leads you straight down to the beach. And there's always something happening on this beach. Volleyball, ultimate frisbee, yoga, and there's even a kelp forest that you can kayak over. It's just insane. And the best part is you're always just a few steps away from home, so it's so easy to go and grab snacks or anything else that you need throughout the day. There was exactly one time that I kind of got fancy and made a charcuterie board and brought it down, but a furry friend decided that he wanted to join and <laughs> he kind of ate the rest. So after spending the full day down at the beach, it's time to head back upstairs, but I'm not a huge fan of bringing a bunch of sand back up to the apartment, but luckily you don't have to worry about that because you'll have private access to the complex where there's a shower to wash off all the sand. And that's typically when we head back up, shower, get all the sunscreen off, and the bathroom has basically everything that you'll need, and it's got that beachy feel too. And the tiles and the bathroom and the shower are used throughout the entire apartment, and it's pretty great to walk on. We love getting ready for the end of the day by turning on the sound system to really set the tone for the sunset and get the music vibes going. Golden hour here is just ridiculous, and it just doesn't even feel real. We like to be cozy at night, so you might go and have a sunset beach walk, you might take a blanket out on the patio, get comfy in the chairs, or just lounge around on the couch. We light some candles, turn on the mood lighting, and just kind of lounge around and watch the cove shift into night mode. It's pretty impossible not to feel special staying at this place. I don't know that you could ask for much more in a beach vacation.